here for Player.net, and today we're taking a look at the Extreme 4 Z97 motherboard from ASRock. Uh, this is looking to be a quite promising board, has a lot of good features, but I'm going to keep this one short as this is just an unboxing, so let's go ahead and take a quick look at the packaging before we see what is included and have our first look at the motherboard itself. On the front of the box, we noticed a nice golden blue X. Uh, of course, in big letters, letting us know up here in the top right, this is a super alloy motherboard. And down towards the bottom, we of course have our Z97 Extreme 4 text, as well as some logo badges to let us know some of the important points that ASRock wanted to bring out to us immediately, wanted us to first see when we f looked at the motherboard. On the back, we of course have a bit more detailed information on what we can expect again with the super alloy motherboard and it just lets us know some of the components that were used to build the motherboard and a little bit more information about them it also goes into a bit more information about the purity sound too as well as some of the software you can expect to come with it as well as the ASRock cloud the ASRock app shop and whatnot as well as some other details let's go ahead and have our look and see what is included inside the box. Um, we of course have our ASRock Cloud pamphlet. We have our Z97 Extreme 4, uh, what is that, the quick installation guide. And then we also have our software setup guide. We have our installation driver disk as well as our ASRock badge. We have four SATA 3 6.0 gigabyte per second cables. We have a very generic silver I.O. shield slash back plate. We have what I am guessing in here would be a NVIDIA SLI bridge. We also have, again, as ASRock do, a nice little screw if you can see it for our M2 SSDs. And we also have something that I am not yet accustomed to seeing in boxes. Um, we have here what looks like to be a double uh, hard drive power connector, but it appears to have a connection that we can connect it to the motherboard itself. So it'll be interesting to see what that is, and I will give you a bit more information on that in the overview. That is it for the included accessory, so let's just have a quick look at the board itself. Again, and as always, I would like to thank ASRock for their packaging. They put the nice foam around it, it's zip tied. It gives you quite a good feeling that you know your board was protected in transit, which is always nice. As we can see here, the board has a very nice uh, blue and black theme, which goes a long way with me. Uh, I'm not a big fan of red, so I will definitely be liking this board and be getting some more pictures of it. As this is just an unboxing video, I'm not going to go into too many details. Well, actually, none at all, really. Um, so stay tuned for the overview video to come in the near future where I'll go over some of the individual details on this board and I will actually compare it to the ASRock um, Z97 Extreme 6 as well and let you know some of the differences. But that is it for this video. Please like and subscribe, comment, let me know what you think. I'm always trying to uh, get better at my videos. You'll notice I try different things hoping to get some feedback for some people. Uh, so yeah, thank you for watching and please check back regularly for more content.